Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor's Fashion. On today's video, we're going to be making a bustier yoke. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment down below. And let's get right into this tutorial. So before we start, I need you to understand the basis of a bustier yoke. So when you're looking at a yoke, you can see the difference between the yoke and the bustier itself is that the yoke is see-through it is not lined and the bustier part is lined and you can't see through that so what we're going to do is draft the entire upper half of the gown or the blouse and then after drafting we're going to divide it to the yoke the upper part and the bustier and then we're going to line the bustier and leave the yoke the way it is see-through with the net or the lace and then we're going to join the two halves together to make a full bust here so what i'm doing now is drawing out all my reference lines and that is the waistline the under bust line the bust line and the line where i want the yoke to end and you should take all these measurements beforehand Next, I'm going to take my nipple to nipple width and I usually take about 4 inches on fold and that is 8 inches in total and it totally varies depending on the size of the bust of your client. Now we can start forming the breast cup and I'm going to go to the under bust line and the waist line also. I'm going to take 2 cm to the left and 2 cm to the right of the nipple to nipple line making a total of 4 cm at the under bust line and 4 cm at the waist line. Next, I'm going to connect these two lines to the bust line in a curved manner and this is so I could create space for the bust to occupy. Now I'm going to go to the yoke line and I am going to take 1.5 cm to the left and 1.5 cm to the right of that nipple to nipple line making a total of 3 cm and i'm also going to connect this to the bust line so before jumping into the shoulder and the yoke i'm now going to take the measurements of the bust the under bust and the waist so starting with the bust i'm going to divide it by four Whatever I get, I'm going to place it on the bust line and add my seam allowance. And I'm taking 3 inches seam allowance. And for the under bust and waist, it's going to be slightly different. I'm going to be taking my measurement, dividing it by 4. Whatever I get, I am going to first add the 4 cm that we took at the nipple to nipple line before going ahead to add my normal 3 inches seam allowance. So now we can go on to drafting the yoke area and just so I can get an accurate measurement I'm going to overlap the center front with the sides of the breast cup with about half a centimeter. So 
so the first thing I'm doing is measuring the width of the neckline and after that I'll measure the width of the shoulder and do well to divide these measurements by two because this pattern is drafted on fold After taking the length of the armhole which I took 7.5 inches for, I'm going to take the middle of the length of that armhole which should be 3.75 inches and I'm going to go in by half a centimeter and I'm just going to connect those two lines to the other ends of the armhole. Alright guys, so this is what we have now. We have the lower part which is our breast cup and the upper part which is the yoke of the bustier. And if you open this up, you'd see that the yoke is actually smaller than the breast cup. But it's totally normal because it won't be opened up like that when you finish sewing. When you finish sewing, that space would be cinched in and it's going to match the length of the yoke. So you can manipulate the lower part of the yoke that is the upper part of the breast cup to form any kind of shape you want and I want a v-neck kind of shape so I'm going to take it in by about two centimeters and whatever I take off from that area I'm going to add it back to the yoke so I'll glue back the part that I'm cutting off now to the yoke. Now I'm going to place each of the pattern piece on fabric to cut them out before we get right into sewing and I'm starting with the yoke and I have folded my fabric in two and I've placed the pattern of the yoke on it and I'm just going to cut this out on fold. So I went off camera to trace out the pattern of the breast cup onto three different kinds of fabric that is the lining the doll face satin and also the lace material alright guys so I went ahead to attach an interface to the doll face satin and the lining on one side I also attached the thick breast cup interface to just the lining as shown in this video what I'm going to do now is attach the lace to the door face so i'm going to take away the lining pieces and attach my lace pieces to the door face satin pieces
so i have sewn the lace and the satin pieces together and i also went ahead to iron it flat and this is how it's currently looking now i'm going to separately join the lace piece together and also separately join the lining piece together that is attaching the two sides to the center front So this is what I have after sewing and I went ahead to use a pressing iron to press down the seams so they could be flat. Next thing I want to do is attach the yoke to this and at the same time while joining the yoke to this we are going to be joining the two pieces together that is the lining piece and the lace piece. So to attach the yoke to the rest of the bust I'm going to place it in between the two pieces, flip over the front piece. But make sure the yoke is still in between the two pieces and then pick up the lining piece and i'm still making sure that the yoke is in between the two pieces then i can use pins to secure this and sew and i'm going to be sewing with the half an inch that i took a seam allowance earlier
we've come to the end of this video thank you so much for watching till the end if you like this video if this tutorial was helpful please don't forget to subscribe turn on your post notifications so you get notified each time i post i post videos at least once every week give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below thank you and i'll see you in my next video